at Whole Foods, and today we're talking about all things flour. So we're coming into the holiday season, people are gonna be doing a lot of baking, and so flours are going to be a very popular item. Now, um, also a lot of people are looking for gluten-free flours. So here's some recommendations that I wanna make for you when it comes to flours, whether you're buying just regular flour with gluten, or you're looking for the gluten-free varieties because one of the things that I want you to remember on gluten-free flours is that they can be really high in carbohydrates and sugars and actually not really all that great for you. So you wanna be able to look at what are the alternatives with the gluten-free flours that aren't gonna be so um, high on the glycemic index, meaning they're not gonna raise your blood sugar so much. Regular flour in general is, you know, uh, those regular grains, you're going to get a raise in blood sugar because it's a carbohydrate. But some of these have a lot more carbohydrates. And I'm gonna show you the label too, because the label can be a little deceptive when you're reading it and you think that it doesn't have as many carbohydrates in it. So let's take a look. Okay, so um, chickpea flour, I always have this in my house. I absolutely love it. I use this to dredge fish with, chicken. Um, I will use it to toss like, um, I'll chop up uh, um, cauliflower and toss that with some olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper, and, uh, and then I'll toss the chickpea flour in there and it just picks up the, um, the moisture off of that and then I roast it at a high heat. Oh my gosh, and it makes such a beautiful crispy crust. You could do that really with anything, but this is always in my house. Chickpea flour is really nice because if we look at the label, um, there's 21 grams of carbohydrates. This is one quarter cup, so be careful when you're watching, looking at the labels, because you're gonna see they don't all compare properly. So this is a quarter cup. It's 120 calories per quarter cup. There's 21 grams of carbohydrates, but there's five grams of protein in here. So this is really wonderfully high in protein. Chickpeas in general, if you don't know what a chickpea is or a garbanzo bean, that's what's used to make hummus. If you don't know what hummus is, then you've never been to a Middle Eastern restaurant and you'll need to Google it. But um, but yeah, nice and high in protein, nice and um, you know, uh, the, on the uh, good high, high fiber is five grams of fiber. So this really checks the boxes on a healthy alternative to flour. And then there's coconut flour. Now coconut flour, it's a little lighter. It does, so now we're looking at two tablespoons on the serving size. So you could look at this easily and say, oh, it's way less calories, because see how they make it bigger? We're gonna do a food nutrition fact here, not today, but this is, some of these nutrition facts can be very deceiving because people don't know how to read them. So I'm gonna show you how to read them. Um, not today, but that's another video. So you can look here, you got 70 calories, 120 calories. One quarter cup is actually four teaspoons, I'm sorry, four tablespoons. So this is actually 140 calories if you're comparing side to side here. And then, so then if we just double that here, this is gonna be 18 grams of carbohydrates, and then that's gonna be six grams of protein. All right, so it's almost on par with the garbanzo, uh, because look at all the fiber in here. That's gonna have 12 grams of fiber. Again, I'm doubling these numbers because I wanna compare apples to apples here. So doubling on the fiber. So um, so I do like um, coconut flour um, for some things. This has a more neutral flavor to me. So I do prefer it from a flavor perspective. And I don't know that I would use garbanzo bean for like banana bread, but I don't know, I've never tried it. If you've tried using garbanzo bean flour for banana bread, let me know, I'd love to hear how it goes. I think probably the coconut would have a little bit, um, you'd get a little more flavor out of that. That would be kind of um, nice, uh, you know, like banana coconut bread or something like that. Um, this, I'm gonna go to that one in a second. So cassava, this comes from, uh, I'm gonna say the, I'm gonna call it yucca. My um, good friend of mine who's from Venezuela, she calls it the chuca, the chuca root. Uh, so I don't know, I would, I would default to her and say that's probably pronounced chuca, but in America we're gonna say yucca. Um, so cassava flour is from that root. Again, naturally gluten-free, grain-free, and nut-free. And this label also has a hundred, uh, one quarter cup, 110 calories. And then if we look here, then into focus. So three grams of fiber, so less on the fiber, a lot higher in the carbohydrates, and not much protein at all. So not as well balanced. So 
Um, I think this one's probably going to be higher on the glycemic index, even though it is naturally gluten-free. And let's just, you know, keep in mind that when you're when you're baking, you're really not baking for your health anyway. Um, you know, you're going to put sugar in there. You're going, you know, it's dessert. So, but uh, you know, we can't we can't be too judgy on this because if we're making a treat, we're making a treat. It is what it is. Um, but just trying to give you some options for some gluten-free flours here. So um, they'll also have different consistencies. That is something that I'm unaware of how they behave when they bake, but that's something you could easily Google. Now, I just wanted to show you this real quick because this is einkorn. This is like an ancient wheat. So this is actually wheat and it is, um, uh, uh, I, so if we look at here, you can just say, okay, they quarter cups, 100 calories. Um, there's 20 grams of carbohydrates, only two grams of fiber, and it is relatively high in protein, so four grams of protein. So if you're able to eat regular gluten, I love a good ancient grain. And if you've never had bread made from einkorn, oh my gosh, you will, you'll love that. So I'm actually not buying that today, but um, uh, so there's a lot to choose from here. I did also want to show you buckwheat. Uh, again, naturally gluten-free. Buckwheat's actually a seed. It's not even actually a grain, um, but it looks like a grain. So um, people call it a, a grain, but it's not. It's naturally gluten-free. So even though it has wheat in the name, it's not wheat. So this is a quarter cup, 100 calories, and then um, we're looking at 21 grams of carbohydrates, three grams of fiber. So again, not as high in fiber as the other ones I showed you, and then four grams of protein. But um, buckwheat pancakes, oh my gosh, I just love them. They're, it's really hearty. Um, and buckwheat is actually just, you know, it's fun to um, play with all of them. Um, hazelnut flour, I've never had this, but it looks amazing. It's just ground hazelnuts. And this is going to be much like um, almond flour. So if you like using almond flour, I love using almond flour for a crust, for like a pumpkin pie. Um, and so I have never seen the hazelnut flour. So I think I'm actually gonna get this and I'm gonna make a pie. And I'm gonna see, um, I make a really good pumpkin pie and it's, uh, I use a um, good hard squash, doesn't have a lot of water, very naturally high in sugars. So I don't have to put a lot of, um, I actually use maple syrup to sweeten it. And I won't actually have to use a whole lot of maple syrup because the um, squash itself is so yummy. So we're gonna make a pie, we're gonna grab this and we're gonna do a little hazelnut flour pie. All right, those are just a few of the flowers. I just wanted to point out to you some of my favorites and my go-tos. And um, again, the only real gluten-free flour that, that I use is the garbanzo. And um, uh, I don't have an issue with gluten. So if I'm gonna make banana bread, and I always make cranberry nut bread coming up in the holidays. So when I make that, I'm just gonna use the regular flour. And, uh, but I'm gonna use that einkorn because that will be really, really amazing. Uh, anyway, I hope that helps and happy baking. Whichever flour you choose, just make sure you look at that label and compare apples to apples and you know that the serving size is comparable to what you're looking at. So um, happy holidays and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.